Hi Capricorn, this is your mid-month February 2022 reading, Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Capricorn for mid-month February 2022 in love. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Capricorn for mid-month February 2022 in love. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Capricorn for mid-month February 2022 in love. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Capricorn. Capricorn, this is the mutual point of interest between you and your partner. Maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys' minds. Maybe a partner mentioned it to you and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you, Capricorn. This is you. This is your partner, So, Capricorn, I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For mid-month, February 2022, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner, Capricorn, is judgment. Now, judgment could be either you or your partner passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So, Capricorn, listen, someone here could be passing their own final verdict, judgment, answer, decision here. You know, someone could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance. Or we're dealing with something illegal. Clarify judgment for Capricorn and their partner. Clarify judgment for Capricorn and their partner. Clarify judgment for Capricorn and their partner. It is clarified with strength. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the universe is calling for both you and your partner to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of you trying to tame your lust, tame your passions, trying to restrain yourself, restrict yourself and hold yourself back from something. So Capricorn could be dealing with a Leo. But, you know, someone here may be feeling extremely weak. Someone here may be trying to restrain themselves, restrict themselves, and hold themselves back. Or muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for Capricorn and their partner. Clarify strength for Capricorn and their partner. Clarify strength for Capricorn and their partner. <clears throat> it is clarified with the Queen of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. So Capricorn could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, someone here could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Cups, using their intuition concerning something, or searching their emotions concerning something. Also with the Queen of Cups, this is a mothering, nurturing energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Capricorn and their partner. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Capricorn and their partner. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Capricorn and their partner. It is clarified with the Fool. Could be dealing with an Aries, but the fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey, to do a brand new thing, sight unseen, just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. Could be dealing with an Aries, but listen, you can tell me that someone here is saying, you know what, I just want to up and do something, I want to set out on a brand new journey, take a leap of faith, 
or if someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship, clarify the fool for Capricorn and their partner. Clarify the fool for Capricorn and their partner. Clarify the fool for Capricorn and their partner. <clears throat> It is clarified with the two of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. Now, this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? This can be you managing many things at once, weighing up the pros and the cons, or juggling two relationships. So listen, Capricorn, first of all, I was smirking to myself because it seems like someone really wants to do something, but is just needing the strength to do it, you know, kind of holding back, kind of just restraining themselves, kind of using their intuition, searching their emotions. I want to up and do it. I want to forgive and give a second chance here. Should I, shouldn't I do it? I want to ask for forgiveness and a second chance here. Should I, shouldn't I do it? And maybe asking for forgiveness and a second chance because someone took a risk or a chance and was juggling in the relationship. It's almost like a... Uh, it's almost like a... Like, you know, someone trying to uh, hype themselves up before a game. You know, that pre-game hype in the locker room. They're hyping each other up type of thing. It's almost like someone is kind of... Uh, trying to hype themselves up or get the strength or courage to come in and just actually do it you know to forgive to ask for forgiveness you know to, you know to to give an answer to forgive for juggling here i hope you guys understand what i'm saying listen capricorn you have the nine of pentacles you have the three of pentacles you have the four of pentacles i said pentacles 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 your partner has the knight of wands your partner has the hangman. Uh huh. And your partner has the two of cups. So, Capricorn, the mutual point of interest in what's on both of you guys' minds is there's a hype man somewhere in someone's brain, okay? But listen, <laughs> listen, I feel like someone is ready to pass their final verdict and judgment and answer on whether or not they should or they shouldn't, you know, forgive and give a second chance here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance for having juggled, having taken a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. So I feel like someone is just internally going through the motions on, well, should I, shouldn't I? Will I? I need strength. I need to up and do it. Maybe I won't. I will take this leap of faith. I don't know. I just need somebody to help me, guide me, you know, prep me up into this. Listen, prep rally going on in someone's head. Listen, Capricorn, you have the nine of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you saying with, without, or in spite of anyone. I alone in my own right am abundant, self-sufficient, independent, and single. I'm single. So listen, Capricorn, you can tell me, hey, I'm independently abundant on my own, or I'm single. Clarify the nine of pentacles for Capricorn. Clarify the nine of pentacles for Capricorn. Clarify the nine of pentacles for Capricorn. It is clarified with the two of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you needing to make a decision, but you're in the dark about some things. Some things you just refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge, a lack of information, block communication. So it's hard for you to make an informed decision in this position. But this is also a card of you being closed off, blocked off, not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. So Capricorn, listen, Either you're blocking and saying, hey, I just want to be single, or you're indecisive here on whether or not you want to be single or not wanting to be single here. Capricorn, you have the three of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is making plans to meet up, making plans to partner up, to work together on a contract or a project. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. Now, this can speak to there being a third party involved, but this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So, Capricorn, listen, you can tell me that, hey, you know, maybe it's something going on with work or business and it's a decision that you need to make. However, you can tell me that you're willing to work things out, willing to put in the work here, or there was a third party possibly juggling going on. Clarify the three of pentacles for Capricorn. Clarify the three of pentacles for Capricorn. Clarify the three of pentacles for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Page of Cups. 
Scorpio Cancer or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produce because there is a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. So you could be receiving love messages and an apology. You could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there's a fish in this cup here. Could also be some type of good news concerning work or business here. Clarify the page of cups for Capricorn. Clarify the page of cups for Capricorn. Clarify the page of cups for Capricorn. It is clarified with judgment. Now, judgment could be you passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So listen, like I said, Capricorn, either you have to pass your own final verdict and judgment answer decision here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance, wanting to work things out, sending love messages and an apology here. Or we're dealing with something illegal. Clarify judgment. For Capricorn, clarify judgment. For Capricorn, clarify judgment. For Capricorn, it is clarified with the Four of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. So listen, Capricorn, yes, you can tell me that you guys are on a break here, but someone is wanting to work things out, sending the other love messages here, trying to proclaim their love, asking for forgiveness and a second chance. But you could also be meditating here on your decision, your answer here, okay? On whether or not you care to forgive and give a second chance here. Mm -hmm. You could also tell me that your decision is for you to just be on a break from this person. To try to recover. But I feel like you're indecisive. So I feel like maybe you're meditating on your judgment. Listen, Capricorn, you have the four of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coins, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So Capricorn, listen, you can tell me that you're closed off, blocked off, not opening up, kind of holding back here. You can tell me that, hey, you're holding on to your coins, saving your money. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell me that you're keeping something close to your chest here. Clarify the four of pentacles for Capricorn. Clarify the Four of Pentacles for Capricorn. Clarify the Four of Pentacles for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone. Demanding truth. Demanding clarity. Speaking your truth. Spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So, Capricorn, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight, someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Capricorn. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Capricorn. Clarify the Knight of Swords. For Capricorn, it is clarified with the Four of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. So is this what this is all about? Maybe leveling up, moving in together, getting a mortgage, you know, renting a place, you know, getting married, starting a family, having a foundation. Is this about some type of legal binding contract, maybe a marital contract? You're indecisive here. You're meditating on your decision here. Thinking about should I, shouldn't I remain single? Is this what this is all about? Hmm. So, Capricorn, I feel like you have to pass your own final verdict, judgment, answer, and decision here. You may be kind of holding back right now. You know, holding back. Mm -hmm. Searching your emotions, use your intuition about whether or not to take this leap of faith here. Should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I, I don't know. Should you? Should you? Listen, 
Capricorn. Your partner has the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is someone rushing into your partner or your partner rushing in to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So listen, Capricorn. Your partner can tell me that there's a rush to do something here. Your partner can tell me that there was a rushing in, going off, going ham, passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with the Six of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters. Moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, your partner is wanting to move away. Now this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you. Agreeing to disagree. Letting bygones be bygones. And moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is your partner saying they just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So Capricorn, listen, your partner could tell me that, hey, you know, someone, you know, there's a rush to do something here, so I'm just going to move away from it. Your partner could tell me it was a rushing in, going, up, going off, going ham, passionately with a heated discussion or argument, and because of it, they just want to move away from the situation. Your partner could also tell me that someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere, and this is the reason why they want to move away from the relationship. However, your partner could tell me, yes, you guys had this rushing in, going off, going ham, passionately with a heated discussion or argument. And they just want to put it behind you guys and move away to a place of peace and harmony together. Just let bygones be bygones. Capricorn, your partner has the hangman. Could be dealing with a Pisces. But the hangman signifies that the relationship or the situation is stagnant right now. It's suspended in the air. There's no movement. But your partner may be beginning to change their perspective. So Capricorn could be dealing with a Pisces, but your partner is telling me that things are stagnant, hanging in the balance here. However, they could be changing their perspective. Clarify the hangman for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the hangman for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the hangman for Capricorn's partner. <clears throat> Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication. But this is also your partner spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is your partner doing their due diligence to gather information and research, looking into someone. So listen, Capricorn, your partner could tell me it was some type of immature, premature communication had here that caused you guys to go stagnant, or they went looking and spying and saw something here. Clarify the page of swords for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the page of swords for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the page of swords for Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with the Nine of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is your partner saying with, without, or in spite of anyone. I alone, in my own right, am abundant, self-sufficient, independent, and single. I'm single. So listen, Capricorn, your partner is saying you guys are stagnant and they're single based on some type of immature, premature communication that's had here. Your partner could tell me that they went looking in spite and they saw something here that caused them to want to be single and go stagnant here. You know, your partner could tell me that I'm single here and I'm just standing here. I'm just hanging in the balance. And this is what's causing this immature, premature communication. This, you know, rushing and going, well, rushing and demanding truth here about commitment here. You just got me standing here. Like you just got me here and I don't want to be single. I don't want to be single. Listen. <laughs> Capricorn, your partner has the two of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. <sighs> soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So, listen, your partner sees you as their soulmate, but what's going on here? Clarify the two of cups for Capricorn's partner. 
Clarify the Two of Cups for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the Two of Cups for Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with the Eight of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This can indicate that things are happening quickly. This can speak to travel. But this is the fast, rapid moving energy of communicating back and forth over the airwaves, the internet, with text messages, messenger, <clears throat> WhatsApp, emails, phone calls, even face to face communication. But this is also the fast, rapid moving energy of being intimate. So listen, child, Capricorn, listen, listen. Your partner could tell me that we have this connection and they want something to happen quickly. Like I said, you got them standing here, just hanging here. And that's the problem. They want to, it may be a rush to do something here. Your partner could tell me that we had this heated discussion or argument throwing fiery dots at one another here. Yes. Your partner could also tell me that this is my babe and I just want to make up. Like, I want to use this fast, rapid moving energy of being intimate here. And let's just put it behind us. It just seems like. It's a question about us leveling up in some way. But I feel like you're the hold up. You're the one who come, has to come up with an answer or a judgment or a decision here. And right now you're kind of holding back. And it's making your partner frustrated here. Listen, I feel like your partner is waiting on a judgment answer or decision here. I feel like they're trying to be strong and just hang in there. <laughs> literally listen your partner may be searching their emotions here and they're ready to take this leap here but it's just seemed like everything is up in the air because it's waiting on you to make this decision you have to make this decision you have to make this judgment and right now you're kind of just meditating on it and kind of holding back and it's causing them a bit of frustration very frustrated with you capricorn capricorn this is your mid-month february 2022 reading you guys give me feedback subscribe like comment and share and i'll see you guys next week peace